Alrighty, well, morning, morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And then let me go ahead and um, intro this real quick. This is gonna be pulse. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure which is which. This is one of those albums where I can't tell. I can't tell which name is which. Which one's the name of the band and which one's the name of the album. Um, I'll just say uh. Pulse of Silence, um, that's the band. And then Embrace of the Unknown is the album. Like I said, yeah, that's kind of confusing here. Especially when you look at the cover. I mean, which is which. So, but anyway, um, this is going to be music. Or here, let me, um, let me just go ahead and start it up. Okay, so anyway, um, this music here, it's, um, based in Slovakia which uh, I kind of I actually learned yesterday um, I always thought uh, Czech Republic Slovakia and Czechoslovakia were all were all one and the same come to find out that nope at some at some point uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia are actually separate I guess you learn something new every day. Although, I, um, I did find this kind of interesting. They're kind of on the border of Ukraine, and as far as I know, they're still being attacked by Russia. So, chances are a whole, whole bunch of refugees might be making their way here in Slovakia. Oh, and, um, I don't... I don't really have a whole lot. Oh shoot! Um, YouTube pros up. Okay, there it goes. So, all right. Like I said, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, or if I do, most of it's gonna be on the technical side of things, cause. Um, but to start with, um, I actually looked at some of my old cast videos, and some of them have been copyright claimed. Um, uh, one of them was, uh, Lamentation. I actually had their album going. Al I actually had the uh, album going, like, full moon over, over something. I can't remember, some German city. But yeah, I apparently, I mean, when I first... When I first used the album, they um their music was free to use. Well, it seems apparently uh apparently those dungeon said niggas won't get paid. So yeah, like I said, I guess they decided to go ahead and monetize their music. So all my videos that use that album are now copyright claimed. So and because the music pretty much takes up the entire the, the entire cast videos, I just I just deleted them. Which, again, this this actually pisses this actually pisses me off even worse than uh, having my uh, music or like saying that the uh, music I chose for my cast video was copyright claim. Well, like like at the outset, like the way YouTube works now is um when I'm when I'm uploading when it's been uploaded and processed, YouTube it now checks that video for copyrighted stuff, and if there's any it lets me know it lets me know before before I actually publish the video so so I mean I mean yeah finding copyrighted music during this during this part yeah it kind of ticks me off but not as much as when uh when they copyright claim the shit after I posted it up in fact now that I think about it yeah one of my uh, recent cast videos um I like a couple days ago it had a uh, it had multiverses. It's the new platform fighting game that's coming out here fairly soon. It had some uh, copyrighted video footage. Luckily, it was only about 30, 45 seconds of it. So something like that, it's a simple matter of me just simply cutting out that part of the video. And then doing that, there still shouldn't be any ads on that video. I hope. So, But something like that don't bother me that much. 
but when my entire video is basically copyright claim, then yeah, I, I got no choice but to just delete it. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention too, uh, one of my, I know one or two of my Gems of War videos, I had to delete them too because in those videos, I was using, um, um, it was a stream channel called uh, Lo-Fi Geek. But uh, I was using I was using that live stream channel for a few of my Gems of War videos. Well, apparently they decided to go ahead and monetize their channel. So now all those videos are now copyright claimed. So I guess the Lo-Fi niggas won't get paid. So kind of ticks me off, but once again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but if whenever whenever you guys decide to start a new channel, you know, a new YouTube channel, and you want to start putting up music, you guys need to make this decision on whether or not, you know, whether it's either you're going for standard YouTube licensing or uh, Creative Commons. But whatever decision you guys make, you need to make this at the start of making your channel and not changing it or at the very least not without warning people first yeah it pisses me off when they do that like like I said once again sorry to sound like a broken record but when I first had these when I first played this music on my cast videos they were totally free to use so they weren't copyrighted or anything now all of a sudden they decided to just go ahead and monetize their stuff you know some advance warning on that would be appreciated. You know, like um, like post like post up a uh, post up a YouTube message. You know, some of these channels can do that. You know, they'll post a message up for all their subscribers to see. You know, do something like that. Like, like hey guys, in uh, in two weeks, my ch this channel will be monetized. So you know, to give us a fair warning. You know, like to to you know delete our videos or maybe. Maybe so someone like me can have a chance to warn the rest of my viewers. Or warn the rest of my subscribers. Hey, uh, um, in two weeks I'm going to have to make a decision. Some of these videos might be getting deleted. But one thing I do need to do, I totally forgot about this. Uh, I'll have to do this here. Okay, um, just a moment. I forgot to add this earlier. My brain kind of parted. So I'm going to try to catch this. Almost done. Um, but so that all this being said, um, mainly for those that have never uh, watched any of my cast videos before, if you like it here, what you're seeing, um, I highly recommend you guys download these videos. Download them on your computer. Um, I like to use Y2 Mate. Um, but if you if you have your own, if you have your own preferred website, by all means, use it. But like I said, because who knows how long these videos last, or are gonna last until get cop until they get copyright claimed. Um, I always try to use um, free to use slash non copyrighted music. That way, so that way, so these videos are ad free. So that's the big reason why I'm I'm big on copyrighted stuff. So. Uh, so once again kind of a recap if you guys like and hear what you're seeing then I encourage you guys to download them that way so download them for safekeeping that way so you'll have them and you won't have to worry about any of these videos being deleted because some jackass all of a sudden way out of out of the blue decides to go ahead and monetize their works you know forcing me to have to make a decision most likely just to delete the video I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. So 
all you guys that are uh, creating channels, uh, make your decision and stick with it. Um, but otherwise, as for the daily pinball session, it it went pretty good. Um, not as good as uh, not as good as yesterday. Um, I, in FX3, I think I took I took first place in like one tournament, but all the rest of the tournaments I entered, I was pretty much all over the place. I got some high rankings in some of them. Um, I had some mid-tier rankings in in some and. I even got dead last in a few of them. So, and at least in my mind, these right these results are final because I'm only put these days. I'm only doing tournaments that either last less than a day or only last a few days at most. Like I'm shying away from tournaments that like go on for like a week or even a month. So, um. Pinball Arcade, uh, pretty much more of the same. Um, I don't, I didn't break into any top fives in any uh, in any tables, but I was still a good, solid performer. Oh, so just um, performed competently. You know, didn't didn't really make any totally stupid amateurish mistakes or anything like that. So, so good and fundamentally sound. So that's about all I could ask out of a out of a pinball stream. I think there was something else I was wanting to say too, but I can't remember what. <clears throat> well, mistake number one. Some pretty good music though. But like I said, this um like I said, this music uh, came out of, of all places, Slovakia. You know, and not somewhere here, you know, I'd expect to hear this kind of music like here in America or here in Canada or something, you know, but not, you know, way out next to Ukraine. It was kind of like uh, some of the other, some of the other musics I played in uh, some of my other cast videos that actually came from Ukraine. Like, that country is under attack right now, and even then, they're still putting out music. So, um, but otherwise, um, for the most part, just um, just did a whole lot of open. I actually um, I actually hadn't gotten any nap. I actually uh, didn't do any napping at all. Um, mostly because I'll probably explain here in just a second <clears throat> and once again mistake number two so really fucking up today man I am really messing up there we go what the hell happened? I mean, I have this, uh, I have this scene all set up and everything, so I don't know why some of it opened up. But anyway, this is going to be the technical part of the, part of the video. So, but, um, uh, one thing I did a lot of this evening was, um, uh, I talked about this yesterday, but I found out how you can do, uh, when you use, when you choose, uh, When you, when you choose media source, um, I said yesterday that I I know I know how you can use video clips and videos from your computer, video footage. Um, I I also found out somewhere that you can also do the same thing with audio files, but um, I I tried it out some time ago and it didn't work. Um, so I think on a whim I decided to change the uh, extensions like. You know the last three letters on each one of the each one of your files. Um, when I use my uh, when I use my uh, my voice recorder, 
Windows voice recorder. Um, you know, it saves it uh, as a M4A file or something like that. Well, all you gotta do is just rename it to WAB and it comes up. But uh, that's that's also what I spent a good chunk of the evening doing. Just um, working on making various uh, sound files that I'm gonna be using on my stream. Like, uh, I got that. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Ah, in fact, uh, I use this one here, cash register, for the early part of the cast video, which I couldn't, which I kept accidentally hitting. So, but like I said, this is just uh, cash register and the um, the money image that goes along with it. Um, I had just now put that in, so probably as silly as as, it's, as silly as it might sound, maybe I should have practiced on it a little bit. But like I said, I put that. I put this in at the last moment, but like I said, I've, this is what I've been spending a good chunk of my evening doing. Um, so let's go with that. It's official. You suck. But on the quiet side. It's official. You suck. Let's try that again. It's official. You suck. So, and um, one of the re one of the reasons why I spent a good chunk of my evening making various um, uh, so uh, making various sound bites is because um, when I tried starting my stream earlier today. I couldn't access my soundboard. Okay, let me go. Let me go to it. Now, I have a. I had a whole bunch of program sound effects, but the problem is, is that you have to create an account, and you have to save everything onto it. And then, um, but like I said, before I started the stream, this bullshit happened. Okay, I'll sign in with Google. idea what happened and then I got this so so it seems uh, Google is no longer playing nice with this website so I can't access you know I can't access my account so I can't access all my favorite sound effects so and I did try creating a raw account but um but the problem with that is, is when I try to actually log in, even with me using, you know, the very same, the very same username that I created, the very same password that I created, it told me that it that my name and/or password was in, was incorrect. So, so I basically got fucked out of my uh, out of my favorites. So, what I have to do, what I started doing now. Is I'll just click this trending. Is I've been having to try to remember, try to remember some of my favorite sound effects. You know, then going on here using the search function. You know, all that good stuff, and then finding that sound effect, and then recording it, recording it on the voice recorder. Let me go and delete this. I don't need it. And yeah, a whole lot of work for three sound effects. But it's um, it's not with it's not without its advantages though. I mean, one, these are all uh, and I kind I think I talked about this yesterday. All these all the sound effects are now saved to my computer. So what I can do here now is I can just, I no longer have to switch to, switch to my, uh, my, I don't have to switch to my soundboard and use the sound effects. Now, I can have them all, I can have them all pre-programmed here. And I'll move 
wonder if I can do... Yeah, here it is. I hope you guys can see this. These are uh, all the uh, all the sound effects that I made. So I got them all right here, and they're all hotkeyed, which means I don't have to. You see, back when I see before this, if I wanted to use a sound effect, I would have to Alt Tab out of Pinball find the sound effect I'm looking for as quick as possible, click it, and then get back to the game. I don't have to do that anymore. You know, so... But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it here. It's just a whole bunch of extra work. But, um, again, I'm on my, on my pinball scene, I have, a, I have all these all, they're all hotkeyed, so... I need a certain sound effect at a certain time I can hit that hockey and it pops right up so so on what so again it's I mean they're um like like I said a few minutes ago they're a real pain in the butt to make it's very tedious and there's a lot of work a lot of work involved but um and then on top of that something else I forgot to mention too I can't, um, I can't really hotkey my entire, or at least the entire left side of my keyboard because I can't do, I can't hotkey, so let's say, Alt-S because I do that and Scene Collection pops up. And there is no way to change these hotkeys that are in the upper left. You know, if I wanted to do, say, yeah, I, I, um, I tried to do a, an Alt-E and I'll eat hockey, but this comes up. So, and there's no way to, there's no way to override these up here. That I, you know, that I could find. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. So, but again, on the upside, though, um, with what I got now, I no longer need to switch over to my soundboard. I no longer need to switch to another window. Um, I can just simply play the sound effect just like that immediately. So, I basically, um, just basically trading in one thing for another. And, um, it sounds, I think we're approaching the end of the album, too. Yeah, I, I listened to this album once, once, uh, once before, so the piano portion is the, uh, tail end of the album. Yeah. So, but otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here, and this will be my last cast for the week. So my work week has started up uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But I do need to mention too, and I, I, and uh, I'll go ahead. And, oh, hang on, let me back up a bit. And uh, I said this at the start of my stream today that um, my rhomboid muscle. Uh, for those who don't know, Saturday. Um, I did my weekly workout and totally fucked it up. Like, just, it hurt like crazy. Well, it's better now. Um, I take, I'm taking ibuprofen. And it's pretty much killed most of the pain. But the thing of it is, is I have to keep taking ibuprofen. Otherwise, it starts coming back. So, there's going to be a chance uh, on when, there's going to be a chance tomorrow that I might end up calling in. But I don't know. So I'll, it it depends on how my how my back is feeling, but um, if it's if my upper back is still if if I if it feels like I'm still not up to it, I'll just go ahead and call in. 
But uh, due to the way my job works, the, the way the call-in system works is uh, you can call in up to five times in a rolling six-month period. But if you call in that sixth time, they, they terminate you. Or I should say, you face the possibility of being terminated. So, like I said, I'm, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty big judgment call. But I mean, you know, this is the start of the work week. I mean, I can't go in with a fucked up back. You know, so there's that as well. So, like I said, I gotta I got I gotta make a really hard call on this. And already, I think I'm at three call-ins. If I call in today, it's gonna be a it's gonna be four. So I'll I'll just I'll just start this over, but anyway, um Not once but twice. Man, how many times is that? Here. Lock. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. Man. That's, this is one mistake laden cast. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. So, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry for all the mistakes I made. Like I said, this, I'm, this is basically a new method for me. So, it's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, but once again, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Um, and um, again, if I don't, if I call in tonight, then you should be hearing from me again. Uh, but otherwise, it won't be until Sunday morning then. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.